Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting alongside for me, Mr. Alex. What's up, man? How are you? Pretty good, man. How are you feeling today? It's a little musky outside. It yeah. dampers the mood a little bit, but also heightens it, I feel. You know, it's 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 mellowed with a, it's a little rainy, a little cloudy. If you don't yeah. know, we live near uh, in Georgia. Um, I don't want to get murdered, so I'm not going to say specifically, but <laughs> in Georgia... <laughs> And it's a little rainy today, so it's it's very mellow, you know? Dude, it's been rainy for the last, like, two weeks. It has. So before that... Shh, be careful, you're going to narrow it down. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been, like, super dry for, There's like... one guy who looks like that meme with all the... All, all the, the strings. Strings, And he's like, he's yeah. like, all right, so it was raining for two weeks here, and then it was sunny three weeks before. Yeah, they did that in dark. <laughs> the Every, show. Everything, everything's, everything's connected. connected. <laughs> no, I, fin- I finished it, like, a week ago. It was a good... Yeah. It's right, cool. pretty good. I like. I enjoyed it at least. Okay. I'm if like, you didn't know who we are, we are e- Easy Achievers. Uh, we break down the previous week in gaming. Uh, if you like that, please go over patreoncom slash Easy Achievers. Give us a dollar. You get your exclusive episode every month. Um, we're going to record that right after this. It's going to be kind of a, a chill. We're going to talk about M- MCU Phase Four. If you saw that get released uh, at Comic Con a few days ago, we're going to be talking a little bit more about another game I'm about to get saying about. If you're a freeloader, don't worry, we are too. Uh, go over five stars on all the stuff. Like us everywhere. Please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do the stuff for free. Take like five seconds. Jim. Doesn't take that long, Jim. Just go over and do it. Click the button or whatever. Also, check out our socials for me, Twitter and Instagram at EVM9000. Alex is at Crazy Flip Skater. But before we forget, Alex, what you been playing? More Red Dead. How's Red Dead going? Good. Almost done. I, I thought you I was, were on the island. Yeah. I thought I was literally, once I was getting to that part. Spoilers, it, by the way. I just spoiled a part. But I mean, God, it's been out since uh, what? Also, like. Forever? Spoiler. It's not that good of a part of you. It's it's just that I, I it said it was chapter four was done. I was like, mm. all right. I didn't, didn't even realize there was another chapter. Mm-hmm. Finishing this. I'm like, I'm really hoping <laughs> that I'm almost done with the game. And then you tell me <laughs> I have like, I'm only like two thirds away the game. I'm like, yep. God. Yep. It's good though. There's like kind of two endings. I do like it. Like you can end yeah. in a specific part and then you can keep playing if you want. Okay. To get like the full <clears> ending. <throat> yeah, I'm going to keep. Um, I want to try to finish it because we just got, you know, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So I want to really get into that. That segues very perfectly into what I was about to talk to, Alex. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. My god how you been playing the heck oh, out of that man oh boy <laughs> we did not get it early like all the other like influences or whatever so i've just been playing since friday um so i've been about three days into it and i have been playing non-stop having so so much fun with this game i love it and it is nerdy <laughs> yep <laughs> you go like almost everywhere yeah Heavily draws from the MCU with uh, in specific parts. Um, Cap is very Cap from the MCU. Um, Nick Fury is Samuel Nick Fury Jackson. Fury is a like guy almost. trying to do his best impersonation of Samuel Jackson it's, as possible. It's, it's close. It's it's um. <clears throat> I guess we can say it's close. Sure. Yeah, yeah I'll say that. <laughs> he's very. Uh, he's very prompt. Yeah, I mean, we can say yeah? prompt. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna take a sip of water. But yeah, so far, like I've played about uh, the water has been sipped. <laughs> <laughs> I've played about what an hour, and I just haven't had time. This so I want to play it, but you. Oh my god! Yes, I am. I, so I, I am. I, I, I won't give. I'll give you. I'll try to give you as much context as possible uh, if you haven't played it. I am level forty nine on my highest people, um, <laughs> uh, and uh, it's funny. I've actually made my own head cannon for this game because I'm okay. also a nerd. Um, and I, I, I go, uh, I love the comic run Avengers versus X-Men a lot. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of like how my team is. I got two Avengers and two X-Men. Okay. And, um, I, it was staying a lot like, uh, it was, it was Cap, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, and Captain Marvel. Okay. Um, Nightcrawler and Wolverine are very similar in the game. So I was like, oh, let me switch out. So I got Storm. I was like, perfect. Storm. Yeah. Put Storm in there. So that's kind of my team right now. I am literally, as we're speaking right now, at the very last boss of the game. <laughs> and um, I'm probably going to beat that in our Patreon exclusive while we're talking about the MCU and, and stuff. And we'll, we'll possibly 
Possibly not. It depends because I haven't played much of it. Going to spoilers, we don't know yet. Yeah, we'll probably do some co-op or something. Just at the yeah. end. We'll just talk about the game. Um, love this game. And again, deep. Deep into the MC lore. There's one person, Alex. I don't even know who that is. I had to Google him. Okay. And if you don't know who I am, uh, I know a lot about Marvel stuff. And a lot about <clears> DC <throat> stuff. Just comics in general. It's just been around my life. Almost all my life. And uh, this person comes out and I'm like, who the... F- Googled it. I'm like, okay, yeah, I whatever. Guess. I guess that's I guess that's a person. But it was really cool. This is, the roster's pretty big. I don't think it's the biggest because I think the first one has a, like a couple more people. Okay, but it has everyone you'd want. I can't think of why well, I, I can, but yeah, <laughs> you, I'm you, sure you, you can find someone. Almost everyone that you want. Yeah. Um, there are some ones that are my personal. Like oh, I wish they were in there. Um, yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, I wanted Gambit. You know, I like Gambit a lot. Okay. It's my favorite X-Men. Um, he's not in here. Oh, wow. That's surprising. Yeah, but not because there's the expansion. That's what so I was I'm thinking. I was like, maybe they'll add him. in that. Um, they haven't announced everything that's be, that's going to be in the expansion. Okay. Um, but I'm assuming he's going to be that. It's going to be Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Marvel Knights. Oh, we know yeah, yeah, almost everyone. Um, we don't know com- like completely everybody. Okay. Um, there's... Like this is a layered game, mm-hmm. so <laughs> I'm about to go through everything, just so you guys have an understanding of how this game is. This is gonna be kind of like an impromptu review of the game, um, as well. Uh, so you go start the game <clears throat> with the guardians, right? Okay. We've all seen the beginning part. Go through there. You have finished basically tutorial levels. Then you hit the point where just you in can, case I don't know if it's is it spoilers. I'm not going to go into spoilers. Okay. This is just I'm just I just had to clarify just to make sure yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, and then you go and you hit a point where you can pick, let's say, another ten people maybe, <clears throat> um, and then you unlock people throughout the game. There's We'll start off with the easy stuff and get into the crazy stuff. So there's leveling up, which levels up your, of course, level. Mm-hmm. And you have basically <clears throat> ability trees that you can kind of level up, but it's very simple. Yeah. So you can upgrade um, your four abilities you can do. You can hold, uh, what is this on the Switch? R. You can hold R and yeah. hit one of the, any of the face buttons, and it doesn't. Move. I would just say the right bumper. Okay, yeah, right bumper, and uh, yeah, if right you bumper. hold, yeah, and then right trigger, ZR on the yeah. switch okay. is is your what's called synergy move. Okay, and you can kind of pair with someone in on your team mm-hmm. to do like a cool move. Um, for me, that's usually Cap and Captain Marvel mm-hmm. in America do a bash move together and hit okay. somebody. Um, it gets kind of cool with some people where like. For instance, Captain America and Iron Man. Um, Captain America will shoot his shield, and that will like burst and hit other people. Similar to how in, Cap- uh, in Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two, yeah. that was a synergy move. Um, and then there's some people that just kind of do a move together, so it's not like super cool. It's just yeah. kind of oh, it just, just has do, to, they just, just do for a damage move and stuff like yeah. that. Um, so the way you use synergy moves, every boss or you know mini boss kind of yeah have stagger gauges yes. and you want to deplete that to zero and then they kind of go into a shocked state then you have to stun them with the synergy attack you use your synergy attack or whoever and then that means you're stunned and you can do much more damage you can do your ultimate which like you you double tap the top bumpers l and r yeah and you keep hitting it for how many people have the ultimate and that then goes into like a crazy mess of people hitting the screen yeah. it's like it gets insane yeah, if you have all four ready it does like this ultimate yeah it's thing. called ultimate attack and then i think it's ultimate all, alliance attack or something yeah, like that yeah. yeah it's probably ultimate alliance and then it's if it's there. everyone it's extreme ultimate alliance attack or something like that and yeah, that's really cool um as you level up, you get AP, mm. so I guess ability points, to upgrade your abilities. Then you get ability orbs, which is like, they toss that out like candy. I have so many of those. That's just another currency to get ability points. Then we get to these things called ISO8s. <laughs> okay. So what those are are basically equipment. That were in like one, you know how you basically can put on gauntlets or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. these are 
basically gems you attach to a character mm-hmm. to improve them a lot. Okay. Um, there's small ones, there's medium ones, and there's big ones. Big ones usually you get from doing something pretty big, like an inf- a really big Infinity Trial. I'll get into Infinity Trials later, yeah. but the ISO-8s, like I have one on Storm because she's weaker. I have Resilience uh, a, a thousand. So that's a lot. Okay. You, you can up them by a thousand. I have vitality, another a thousand. As you can see, you can get pretty crazy with the ISO eights, especially if you know like how to do stuff to like make yeah. them stronger. <clears throat> that goes into everything with the team, and then you can get into what's called infinity trials. So there's the main story, and then there's infinity trials. Jesus. Once you start the game and hit the point I talked about earlier, where you can make people, you'll get infinity trials. Infinity trials are like rifts in the world that you find, kind of like a collectible. Okay. Once you hit the collectible, you can then go in and do challenges. There are a bunch of different ones. I'll just go into the first one just because, you know, I want to get spoiler. But you can play the trials to unlock outfits, and there's certain later ones you can unlock people with them. So okay. I don't feel like this is spoiler, but the first tree you get Electra, for instance. Okay. Like, and you have to do the trials leading up to her to be able to, to fight to get her. And they're all, like, different instances of, like, fight kingpin and you know uh without fight kingpin but your extreme attacks do a lot of damage but everything else does no damage so you have to do only extreme attacks to really do damage to people things like that okay um that's another thing (laughs) like i said there's a lot there's um i if you haven't know love this game i i I I couldn't i couldn't tell yeah 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 i I held it pretty well um I haven't even did everything yet, Alex. There's also what's called the lab. Alex, do you want to know what the lab is? No, I do, but should we save it for the exclusive? Or no. Talk about it now? So the alliance <laughs> enhancement. <laughs> the, it's called alliance enhancements. Okay. So what this does <clears throat> is you get credits and money, mm-hmm. and you get what's called AEP points. I feel Rolls like off made, the tongue, right? Yeah, I feel like you made that up. <laughs> and what you do is you use that to then upgrade everyone in the game so for instance that's where your trees come in you have little trees that you spend little uh, you spend your credits and your ap points to then get energy or more defense or more attack and stuff like that uh i haven't gotten too too much of the ability trees i got everything in the beginning but it's kind of hard to get aep i've noticed i'm not sure how to get it honestly it just seems like you get it by beating stuff and doing infinity trials um i haven't found a good farming method for anything really with xp or aep yet i'm pretty sure it's gonna have something to do with infinity trials i just gotta figure that out a lot of fun enjoying myself with the deep deep mechanics this is definitely something for me where it's like dumb fun if something's if someone's looking for anything other than just dumb fun probably not gonna like this game okay this is not the marvel avengers game we're probably gonna get from square if that turns out good (laughs) yeah um now since you've played pretty much the whole game on this one yes um out of the three games this is the best one okay (laughs) so far yes hands down i think it's easily one is dated now (laughs) looking back on it of course at the time it was good it's a little dated now with a few things of course with the graphics it's not it's not too ugly, but it's it's like, and it's, it's no. this doesn't like. Well, of course, this one's gonna be the best one graphics wise. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, that's why I was like, it, like the first one isn't that bad, honestly. Um, I love the story in the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was gonna um, say, how about content, it does get like, a little, wise? yeah, it does get a little convoluted in one. Okay. Because just a lot starts happening, mm-hmm. and uh, <clears throat> there with one, it was way way more RPG like. Okay. Where you had outfits with individual upgrades, yeah, and if you change to an upgrade, you can get the upgrades from there. And then the credit system in that was a little different, too, because yeah. you can get a lot of money, but everything got expensive near the end. And then there was a whole equipment thing with that one, so I think this one is the best one. Okay. Only because it's easier to learn, a lot more fun to play, mm-hmm. because it's basically one and two combined. So it has some elements with one where you can, like... Equip the, the little Iowa sets points, which kind of is like the equipment in the first game. In the second game, uh, you can tell they took like the revive tokens. So in the first one, when someone died, it was over. Like you had to wait till you found a shield point to revive them in. In the second one, you can revive people, you just have to hold the button down. Yeah. In this one, you just go over and revive them and hold them, but you only have like three tokens. Yeah. So you can only revive someone three times before hitting a shield thing. I think that's way, way better. There's a lot of things in this game way better. The story's way better. It's super comic. 
Yeah. I'm talking like you're reading a comic book, basically. It's it's over the top. You you got you got people saying you got Thor being a almighty, you know, it's yeah, talking yeah. like an Asgardian crazy uh, crazy person. It's really really cool. Um, okay, uh, I think that's about it. Okay, my review. Play it. Yeah, try it out. It's sixty bucks. If you like any of the first first two, you will love this game. If you're looking for polished you know i want to be sucked into the story this isn't it (laughs) okay but i wasn't i wanted to beat up a lot of people yeah perfect for me so we'll save this for the exclusive but i want you to give your rating on this okay so you can think think about it Mm -hmm. and then give me time to catch up Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then you can you can let us know what score you would give it okay if i had to give it a score okay yeah all right. I don't really love scores. But Just I'll give you one know, in the, in the you know, some people do, and some people only yeah, go course. by that. So of we course. have. I figured, give them the option Good to point. be like, you know, wait, 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 let's see what they gave it. Okay, we can definitely do that. We'll save that for the exclusive. Yeah. Um, God, I want to talk more about this game. Oh, I know you do. I can tell already. Play more. Alex, but, play more. So oh, I will. If I'm not so dang tired. <laughs> I'm gonna play so much of this game. I can already see myself beating this game and then replaying it because uh, it's really cool where you can you can play the game one way through mm-hmm. and then you can redo it essentially. There's basically a new game plus aspect to it. Um, it's very open in the terms of, you know, once you beat it, do whatever you want. You yeah. get a new difficulty, I've heard. I have a feeling you're going to get halfway through new game plus before I can even finish the, my first playthrough. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm like loving it, I'm gonna dude. be like, Oh yeah, I'm a third of the way. Where are you at? I'm about to finish my second playthrough. Oh, that of way. course. <laughs> but let's I'm go curious on. on how hard the <clears throat> new difficulty is too. Hopefully oh, it's I don't not mind numbing. Are you gonna try it? Oh definitely. Okay. I think I'm gonna redo it on the new new okay. uh, new thing. The what is it, like an Avenger mode? Um first one I forget it was it's called Mighty, it's normal. Okay. And I assume that it is challenging or something like that. Okay. I have no idea. All right. While you talk, I'm going to play the game. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, also, I wanted to talk real quick, Gears 5 tech test. Yes. We played very little of it. Very little. I, I, I did wanted not play to too much. I didn't want to play with too much of it because I wanted to save it. Because, I mean, yes, I started it. Looks great, honestly. It, God, it was I, actually, fantastic. Actually, it ran really smooth for just being a tech, de- a tech demo. I mean, I'm, like, oof, I'm surprised. I had no, like, lag. It was, like, it, was, it, it looked I, good loved the beginning it was yeah. real fun uh baird's talking <clears throat> to me the whole time over the intercom making fun making yeah. jokes and stuff that was cool um i did not play too much of the multiplayer yeah still feels like gears to me okay just smoother yeah that i didn't play i didn't play it because i didn't want to get because you know when you play too much gears you get like all right i want to mm. you know i don't mean too much of anything right yeah so i didn't i just did the tutorial and i was like you know what i'm gonna save it Right. And wait until it comes out because it comes out pretty soon. Mm-hmm. So I played a little bit of the uh, Odyssey DLC, the new one. Yeah, um, uh, Fields of Elysium is what it's called. Yeah, uh, I'm on the <laughs> first episode still. Did not know that was that long. Pretty long. Yeah. yeah so if you do everything, it's, it's about five hours. Yeah. Um, if you do just main story, I think it's about three. Yeah. Um, and I'm doing everything. Of course, I want to do everything. Yeah, I started episode. it. I haven't been able to go back to it. Really? Yeah. A lot of games. Yeah. A lot of stuff. But yeah, no, Gears 5, uh, I think it ended the 20, I think it ended yesterday, but uh, it did. For the tech it's demo, coming yeah. back this weekend. Okay. I'm pretty okay. sure. Um, there was two weeks of tech tests. So this weekend as well. Um, um, you do have okay. to either pre-order the game, mm-hmm. have Game Pass, yep. or Game Pass Ultimate to be able to play the tech test. Just yep. so you know. It did say retailers <coughs> were getting them. I did not see any retailer having tech test codes. So I'm not sure if that was true or not, or if, mm-hmm. if this a very specific retailer has them, like Best Buy or something, but yeah. I saw nowhere else having them. So speaking of Game Pass Ultimate, real quick. Okay. I don't know if it's still going on, but there was a thing to where you can get a month for a dollar. Yes. Or three, uh, I think I it was three I months for 15. But if it is the $1 thing, let's say you have a year of Xbox Live right now. If you pay the $1... To upgrade the Game Pass, it, it's usually it, it says you know get the one month. Yep. You actually get your full year of yep. Game Pass Ultimate for just a dollar. Do it. The, re- the reason reason I know it, it works weird. because my little brother did it mm-hmm. and it worked. Mm-hmm. And it, now he has 
Game Pass Ultimate for so a dollar for a whole weird. year. It doesn't. I don't think they said it clearly. Well, they but said. I think it's a very difficult thing to say clearly. Yeah. So well, they Game said, pa- So if you have one year of gold. Yeah. And you just pay the dollar of Ultimate, you just yeah. get Ultimate for that for year for the whole year. Yep. And then if and it you works. don't want it, just fucking get, just cancel it. Yeah. After after the the year. Yeah. Because so it, it I mean, you. literally, you, it's just a dollar. So yes. like I have, I mean, let's say you 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 were in the middle of a about a run out of gold, and you were thinking about getting that. Wait, get more Xbox Live. So get a year or two. So let's say two, I regret not doing that. Let's say get it two years of Xbox Live, then upgrade with the dollar because then you're just getting two years of X- just get, Game get, Ass Ultimate for a dollar, and it does work. At that point, you're just staring at Phil Spencer and, being like, uh-huh. and we we were sharing Game Pass Ultimate. Yes, we are. Honestly, I had a Microsoft dollar on there. I just put it on there just so nice. I, Make sure so we just so we, we both have it. Yeah. So uh, it works. Also, it's all it's awesome. You get you yeah. get Game Pass. Come oh, on, God, yeah. Stoke. Yeah, I mean, you get all these games. You get to play the gear, the that Gears Tech. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just get about all, all of my friends now mm-hmm. have Game Pass. Yeah. So like, I get a good uh, marking. Yeah. Of like how people like it. Heard yeah. nothing but good stuff. No, yeah. Also, yeah. you get Game Pass for PC, which I almost forgot to bring that, up. That's that's another uh, one. Um, I got Moonlighter PC. on there. I'm, I'm I'm trying to play Moonlighter. How is uh, it running on your PC? Okay, so <laughs> I want to have a podcast, and I want to bring someone on who knows what the hell they're talking about with the computers and stuff. Yeah. Just so I can ask them questions and like know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. Because I have no idea. So on my PC, I thought I could play it. It's a, it gives you, it gives you like belo- like this is the, the minimum you can play, minimum, and yeah. there's recommended. Yeah. I'm above I'm above minimum, but I go to play the game and then it like it doesn't even start. It gives me the Gears oh, wow. Five logo and then boom off. So oh, wow. I'm assuming I, I'm just not. It's just not strong. It may, I mean, I think it, it's the RAM or yeah, something I, like that. You might you might just need either more RAM or your like whatever minimum specs it says. You might be like maybe there's one component of that that's too low. Maybe like the graphics card or something because right. if everything is good, I have a 1030. But that and, graphics and card then it, it could mess it up. I looked it up. 1030s are garbage apparently. Oh wow. So, are they? Well. I I went by price really. Oh okay. okay. So I googled how much a 1030 would be. Yeah. It's like eighty dollars. Oh. So I was like, okay, well, it's probably not gonna yeah. run Gears Four. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, I I want to one day like maybe make a video or something of of my experience <laughs> with a PC and how to upgrade it. Jesus. That would be fun. Yeah. The easiest thing I usually do when I to see if my computer can run something is look up the model and and just literally type in games that could be played on this or <laughs> like one that or look up that computer and look up gameplay demos just mm. to see and what games they're playing showing that could be played on that so okay. like when i got my my mac or my alienware when i first got it they were showing off skyrim being played so i knew that it can play skyrim so that's okay. just how i went by it i get it moving, moving on, on. <laughs> we saw the Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. Yes. That looks awesome. So there's a new mode called Gunfight, I believe. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a 2v2, very fast. It's kind of the opposite of what we're seeing with like Overwatch and things like that. These are very fast. You play, shoot, die. Like it's 2v2. I believe there's no healing. There's no um Yeah, there's no healing and it's uh, they pick your guns for you, if I'm pretty sure. You get a loadout and you fight. Yep. And it looks awesome. We Dude. watched the gameplay. The graphics, of course, God, great, like it yeah. is every year. The it looks. It reminds it looks, me so much of Modern Warfare. Oh yeah. Like immediately. Like I you're believe, like. Like I looked at it and I'm like, it's back. Yes. It's back. Definitely. Like I haven't been excited for a Call of Duty in a little while. Like I, I mean, don't even remember the last time? Honestly. I mean, I, was I mean, ex- I liked Infinity Warfare's trailer. Yeah. I think it was Infinity War- Infinite Warfare. The one with the robot. Yes, that's Infinite okay. Warfare. I yeah. liked that one. Yeah. Because yeah, I got to ride in the spaceship. That yeah, was cool. I mean, like, they like they all seem pretty cool. And, I mean, I did enjoy Black Ops 4. was kind of back to boots on ground. But I'm like, eh, I'm not really too excited for it. This one, I'm like, yes, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steer this real quick to IGN.com, written by a Tom Marks. Uh, th- this is a... This writes about basically the mode. An official blog post described the multiplayer gun smithing system as robust weapon gun customization. So there's apparently a gunsmith mode that you can do, mm-hmm. and you can tune your guns. Apparently, yeah, to so how it allows your style you, is. yeah, so it allows you to equip sights, stocks, muzzles to your guns that will alter the stats however suits you. 
Um, this doesn't sound like anything new. Is that just me, Alex? Or um, each weapon see. will be able to equip five custom parts at once, but will have more than five slots to choose from, requiring you to pick which pieces are important to you. For example, assault rifles will have slots for muzzle, laser, optic, stock, rear grip, magazine, underbarrel, barrel, and a perk. And you'll be able to fill five of them. Uh, I think this is a from what it sounds like. It's it sounds just, like a it's more just, expanded upon, right? Yeah, it's more of a it's more expanded of create a class. Yeah, definitely. Because right? usually you are with a create a class. I mean, you can change everything, but I mean, this just sounds a little bit more. This in-depth. sounds like a combination of create a class, and I don't know if it had a name, but Black Ops. I think it was three, mm-hmm. where you could make a class, and mm-hmm. then you had basically here's your points for the class. Mm-hmm. You can now do whatever you want. Do you want three attachments on one gun? Yes, but that's going to use three points of that class. Do you want an extra grenade? Okay, that's a point for the class. Stuff like that. That sounds like kind of a combination of everything. Yeah. Um, That seems cool. Uh, I'm very excited for this Call of Duty. Like you said, I haven't been really excited in a long time. Infinity War did let me down. Uh, Infinity Warfare. Yeah. I wasn't expecting more, and it wasn't bad. It was not what I was expecting, though. Yeah, Infinite Warfare. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Infinite Warfare. Thank you. Um. So that's it. Any uh, any lasting thoughts on Call of Duty? Um, I just, I mean, uh, if you're if you like Call of Duty at all, go just check out the the, the gameplay. Yeah, the gunfight two two v two. The house, it, I mean, it's pretty smooth. It looks and really really smooth. The and graphics I, are. Really, I'm hoping really on X. I'm hoping it'll run on sixty, but I don't think it will. I, I hope so. Yeah, I, I don't think it will, but I hope I hope it will. I think it will. Maybe. Uh, we're gonna move on to Stadia Pro. Isn't a Netflix for games? To offer one free game a month. Um, so there's been, and me, myself included, a lot of confusion about Stadia Pro, how it works, what it does. And this is over on Game Rant by Roy Young. Um, confusion about what Google Stadia Pro subscription service is, uh, oh, that's a, a, a misstep, um, has led the company to offer a correcting statement on the issue in a Reddit uh, AMA. Uh, a Google Stadia representative made clear that Stadia Pro is not a Netflix for, Stadia, uh, for games. In other words, paying for a Stadia Pro subscription won't, won't grant access to a library of free games to play. Google Stadia, according to the representative, is better compared to Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus. A Google Stadia Pro subscription will grant players access to the cloud streaming service at as high as 4K resolution and 5.1 sound. Games will have to be purchased by subscribers separately. That's an important note. Mm-hmm. Games will have to be purchased by subscribers separately. Google Stadia Pro, like the aforementioned console subscription service, will provide roughly one free game per month, give or take. The first free game is Destiny 2, like we've all heard. It's the full expansion with Shadowkeep and all that. The Stadia Pro service isn't any different from the uh, the planned free Stadia Base service in this regard. Stadia Base doesn't grant access to a library of free games either. Stadia Base will simply allow a maximum of 1080p resolution compared to Stadia's Pro's 4K and be available free of charge as well. All games will have to be purchased through Stadia. Quote, you spend your money to buy games you want. With or without Stadia Pro subscription, there are core features that will be available to all users. Blah, blah, blah. They really just go into other yeah. features of the other thing. Interesting. I, mean, I was confused. That's much clearer. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't think it would be like a str- like a like like a Netflix type of thing. I, didn't I think figured so it would just be a subscription. I didn't to think where you would pay be, monthly. Yeah, I don't think you're paying twenty bucks, and it's yeah. similar to Game Pass. Or something yeah, like no, I I figured it would be to where, like you 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 know you pay for it and you get to use that service to play it. And, and I you think the have reason the people games. got confused was because there's a subscription service. For yeah, it. there's a fifteen dollar flat rate. And then you still have to buy the games. Yeah. You pay 15 bucks a month. Yeah. I mean, we do that with everything else. Good point. Yeah. So I, I, I don't see an issue with it. Yeah, good point. That's <clears throat> that's a good point. I was about to rail on them and call Mr. Phil uh, Harrison and yell at him. But uh, that's, a, that's a good point. We do that anyways. But I feel like it's different in this aspect because you're paying 50 bucks to pay the game like better. You know what I mean? I mean. Like you're paying for a 4K resolution 5.1 surround sound. You're yeah. paying for that. Period. Well, Right, but there's a plus that you get to walk around with it on your iPad or whatever. Yeah, well, that and I mean, you get the the, the, the ex- free game, the free game every month. I mean, think about it. I mean, when um, with Xbox you used to right. do it. They when you had Xbox Live Gold versus Silver, Silver you couldn't yeah. really what play, you couldn't really you play online. Anything, really. You can't really couldn't do anything. You could chat. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you can chat. 
but you couldn't party chat. Right. But then uh, with gold, you can play online, things like that. Right. So it, uh, I don't see a difference. I think. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean that's a good point. I, I'm over here. Like, I was. Exp- I was. I don't know. I I'm mean, not I railing see, it. I, I think can see why. Gonna, pe- I can see why people were confused, but I don't seem. It doesn't seem to me as a big deal. It's definitely not a big. No, deal. like I think it's fine. I mean, if whoever is going to want Stadia, I mean, they're going they're going to buy it either way. I'm I'm seeing a lot of scuttlebutt on Twitter. Yeah. About. Does Google Stadia fail or does it succeed? Uh, what do you think? I think it'll. I think it'll it'll keep his head above water until we get these uh, caps out of the way. Okay. These caps are uh, speak caps by internet caps. Yes. I feel like that is going to tear a lot of people mm. down and leave a bad. Especially if they saw the article we read a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, sixty-five S- hours. Sixty-five hours 4K takes a whole a terabyte. terabyte. That that's is, that's your limit. Nope. Right yeah, that's yeah. That's it right there. You're done. That, that's that's all, for doing. I was nothing gonna, else. I was gonna get Stadia Pro. No, I'm not. Just because I have that cap. I mean, how I, I'm only how gonna be able to play a game. One, yeah. Yeah. How, I can only play one game per month. Mm. No. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. God yeah. no. Yeah. That. So I'll try it out, but I ain't gonna buy it. Yeah. I um. So, I don't, I, I don't know. I think I agree with most people saying it's maybe a little, just a tad bit too early. I'm talking like three, four uh, yeah. years. I um, feel like they should get no. The, someone has to squeeze Comcast to up data caps. So if yeah. anyone's going to do it, it's Google. Well, I that, well, I mean, uh, a couple of weeks ago during E3, uh, I think it was at Bethesda's. They were oh, talking Orion. about Orion. Yeah. And it's they Bethesda. said that the level, uh, the internet caps are actually being used 40%. Less, yeah, they're using data 40% less, than, yeah. Than so, a I mean, service. we're gonna see more about that later on. I'm, cu- too, I'm so curious on what that even is. That was a I'm more of like, hey, this exists, and then they just, yeah. Leave. So, I'm assuming they just use some type of algorithm to make not as use, not use much data. And who knows, maybe like then these TV providers, internet providers will collaborate with them to be right. like, hey, we'll pay, we'll pay you to so we can get that. Um, what is it called? That technology to be able to use less data, so we can get more, you know, consumers and stuff like that. So, because I feel like they'll do that in the future. It's very similar, by the way, just in case you did not know, to Gold and PlayStation Plus, where as if your pro runs <coughs> out, you do not get the game anymore. Yeah. Um. Of course, you get to play your other games that you. But bought, yeah, the one that's you free, get, you won't be able to play. You do not get your free game anymore. Yeah. No. Not unless you pay for it. Yeah. Of course. I'm which not, is the same way as which anything the else thing. we have. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, so, it yeah. sounds like they, and this is very weird that it took them this long yeah. to say it's not an FF3 yeah, why game. Didn't, yeah. This would have been very clear if this was part of the presentation they made. Hey, um, this is not Netflix, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or something to that effect. I just don't know why they didn't clarify it the first day. Yeah. They'd be like, hey, this is like a subscription to where, you know, it, you just, you pay this to be able to play the games. In five years, does Stadia become, I think it was Google Plus or something? You know that the social networking thing that Google oh. did for like five seconds. I don't know. I I think it'll still be around. I think it'll still be a thing for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I it it's gonna take a bit for it to catch up to Xbox and PlayStation. So, but who knows? They might do actually really well in the next couple of years and be, be and be around there. And by the nature of this device, <clears throat> it is steered very much towards higher income people well, that you know what peop- i mean like and, i don't want to be rude of course well, no, but that higher and income. i feel like this is more for people who are out all the time so like for example yeah i don't travel at all right i don't really travel i go right. ho- i go ho- i go home come home go to work that's it mm-hmm. but for example like people who you know get on planes or travel for a couple hours in a car this will be perfect for them if, yeah so they don't have the time to be home yeah they can right. use this right i get a lot of people on um on Twitter saying, oh, you know, this would be perfect. I bust the iPad out, play yeah. whatever. So people who are like in bus whatever. bus rides like every day or th- something yeah. like that. Like just things that to where they have the time to where they could pass by and, they, and they're they bored. Pop it out. There you go. Yeah. 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 I am. Um, I'm excited. I don't yeah. think I'm no, buying yeah, this I'm either. Ex- I'm excited too, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, if if I see a, a demo one, I'll try it out. Mm-hmm. I just I'm I'm a wait. And by the way, what I meant was higher income being like you, this is geared to multiple devices, um, not necessarily like you can play this on apparently, I think a Pixel Three and yes. a Chromebook and stuff like that. So yeah. not necessarily like you have to have something strong to play it. Just you, it's geared mostly towards people with no data, 
people who are going to stream it over, I'm assuming LTE, which is a whole other thing um, with internet bills. I think on, on, they're, as long they're, as you between, it's between data. LTE and then they're going to start doing 5G. Because right, yeah, 5G course, started, yeah. the, the antennas. So I think they're going to try to convert that. Isn't everyone trying that now? AT&T, Verizon, everyone's trying to get um, 5G? I don't know. If I know it, AT&T's lying right now. I don't know if it's I everyone, it. but I think... I think it's Verizon that started the 5G. I think they have their first phone. I think it's the, it's the, the S or who, whoever it is. I think whoever has the S10. Right. That's why it's called the S10 5G. Okay. Yeah. There's uh, Interesting. Yeah. So that's why. Cause I, I know ATT like, did something where like everyone thought it was, uh, well, sorry, they said it was 5G, but everyone was like, this isn't yeah. 5G. You're no, just I saying believe, this. Yeah. I think that was like the first phone that right. you know you can get 5G on. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. Overwatch's new hero Sigma announced with origin story video. Not much to this. Uh, if you want to and you're interested in Overwatch, go watch the video. It's very cool. It's all. Uh, it's just like everyone else where you get your animated short story. Um, it's really cool. Kind mm. of unsettling too. I, I watched it. It's, it's really. Uh, it's about a guy who uh, tries. It's hard to explain, but he basically tries to control gravity. He's an astrophysicist. Okay. And um, he wants to figure out gravity to be able to use it. Uh, uh, you know, scientifically, and, and once you understand gravity, you can understand the whole universe and yeah. planets and stuff like that. So he does this, I, I guess something messes up, and he becomes like this living weapon. Um, huh. Seems very cool. I want to see what it is. There is no gameplay yet. It's just the it's just the origin story. It looks cool. I'm very excited to see more. Yeah, I want to get back into Overwatch, and, and then I saw that they, you know, so there was in the talks about Overwatch 2, which I don't know what's going to happen with that. Like it was like a, oh, yeah. people were talking about rumor. Diablo Four and Overwatch Two. I, isn't I don't remember if it's a rumor or a leak or something, but someone there's the new Diablo in works, and then there's the Overwatch Two because yeah. they moved people Which is supposed from to be like doing story. other stuff to that. Yeah, and this is gonna be like PVE and stuff like that. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I mean, cool. It's I'm fun. excited. Yeah. I loved Overwatch One. I played a lot of it and then stopped. You know, you same thing I do with yeah. everything. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'll pick then, it up every once in a while just to have fun with it. I usually come back for events like Halloween and anniversary yep. and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, I just get those skins. Mm-hmm. This is a kind of more like required reading. Like if you're just interested more about video game industry things, this is a Kotaki uh, Kotaku article. Uh, by Josh, Joshua Rivera, the video game industry cannot go on like this. This very goes very much in depth on. You know what? I'm going to read a little snippet. Go for it. At about this time next year, we'll have a pretty good idea of what the next generation of video games will look like. New consoles will likely shown off. Bold new streaming initiatives will begin to launch. And we'll also, and we'll all see all the wonderful kinds of games they will bring us. All these new things will come and we'll close the book on a generation that saw the industry that makes games come under greater scrutiny than ever before as studios shuttered, developers burned out, and toxic work culture fostered environments hostile to marginalized people. There are not problems that have been resolved, but the wheels of the game industry kept turning in spite of the strain. So how much bigger can video games get? Video games are only getting more costly in more ways than one, and it doesn't seem like they're sustainable. So this basically goes into... The effect these are having on people, they mm-hmm. go back and forth on, you know, uh, for instance, Call of Duty, Anthem, these things that are breaking people and kind of ruining their lives for the times they're working on it. Yeah. Um, both financially, not financially, I'm sorry, both personally and work-related, have, having huge stress. Um, there's giant legal arguments on what's legal and goes pretty in-depth. It's a really long article. I suggest the read. I thought it was very interesting. I mean, it seems like it's around the same thing about what, what happened uh, at that... Uh, which studio was it? It was like they were being over... Uh, worked or something like that. It was like they were working every. I mean, that's like, almost every in- uh, studio now. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there was one in particular about an article. I think it was Riot Games. Yes. Was it Riot, Riot Games? Games yes. Okay. There were. Yeah. There was like. There was a little bit of everything. I'm okay. pretty sure they also got a couple allegations of kind of like a, a bro culture there, where uh, where jokes about women and stuff thrive. Oh, gotcha. You know, bro got, culture. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, boobs. I guess so. <laughs> things like that, right? Another instance of that. Moving on, <laughs> we're getting into something funny. I, I just took a glance at the, the, the thing, but we get we're doing this first. Remedy Boss still wants to make Alan Wake too. This is an on an IGN Unfiltered, which is a fantastic podcast. If you guys ever want to see uh, a game industry side that they don't mind just talking off cuff and r- questions that don't tend to be asked get asked by a uh, a Mister Um. Uh, 
oh my god, I'm blanking on his name now. He's an awesome guy at IGN. I'm, I'm forgetting his name now. I'm sorry, but uh, anyways, we're getting into uh, J- uh, Joshua Knopp, which is who wrote this story too. So I'm just gonna go to the top. Uh, to this day, Alan Wake remains one of Remedy Entertainment's most enduring franchises, even though it's just really one core game, which is a good point and a noble, wackier DLC adventure. Um, we're gonna skip that. I want to make it. It's a curious thing, like told IGN. At this point, so much time has passed. I feel like that bar is higher in some ways. It needs to be done right if it's ever done. Everything needs to click into place, which is really hard to make it happen. So many things for these big games to be greenlit needs to be aligned. But I'm hoping that someday. I'm, he, he's hoping that someday. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I read it as if a continuation. It looked, I think they, it was, what is that, an ellipsis at the end? Yeah, it's, it, okay. is, it is, it is, it is. Uh, usually you have something after that. No, it's yeah, Ryan McCaffrey. It's, thank you. Jesus, it's on here. Uh, that does it. He's awesome. Over yeah. at he drives a Tesla. Oh wow! <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, I I really hope we're gonna we keep get... talking about Alan Wake until it, uh, it comes happens. into existence. It's similar to my Suikoden collection. Yeah. Every time I say it, I feel like I get just a little bit you're more sweet, power it, to it. It's like you know your Suikoden I mean? and my Alan Wake. Yes, yes. We have we things that we like and we want to live. Yeah, I'm just, I'm Every time just we say the word, there's a giant bubble of energy in the universe that slowly goes up and then eventually it explodes and this event has to it happen. Creates a big bang of just Suikoden of and, Alan <laughs> and Alan Wake too. <laughs> No, but I'm hoping it, it happens eventually. Maybe even a one remaster. If we get a one remaster, that already guarantees two. Oh, yeah, 100%, right? Yeah, so they have I'd to. be curious. I don't think they could remaster it now, right? Well, uh, could they remaster? Because, oh, wait, no, they bought the rights. Yeah, what am they, I saying? yeah they bought the rights. What am I saying? I'm already forgetting. I forget my own podcast, guys. But I should listen more. All right, so we're going over to Kentaku. <laughs> 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 this is really funny and it's we're not laughing at the animal it's just it's just the whole thing is funny uh again this is by kutaku streamer apologizes for throwing her cat <laughs> what like- this is by ethan gatch <laughs> natalie <laughs> oof, oof. Na- you want me to read this Nat- one for you natalia Mogolion. Ma- Mogolin. Mogolin? Really? Yeah. That's Mogolin? I think uh, that's how it's say. Who streams under the name Alinity Divine? Mm-hmm. God, we, we have such boring names, Alex. Yeah, no, some, people, hey, some people make some good that's, names. That sounds man. like a boss <laughs> in, a, in a video game. Like, Dark Souls wow. boss. Did you hit Alinity Divine yet? Psh, you haven't hit nothing yet, man. Right? Alinity Divine's the worst one. Uh, it's on Twitch. Was playing Apex Legends on camera on July 18th when she took her cat from off her desk and threw it behind her. <laughs> <laughs> a clip that soon went vir- viral. Uh, Mulligan has since apologized for it, while others, including from inside Twitch, are calling for her to temporarily be banned what? from the platform. Look. I mean, okay. Look, we have just, instances to where we can say, hey, Dr. Disrespect was banned for two weeks for yeah. filming people ping. You're going to ban her for a week and you're saying that's as bad as the other Yeah, person? right? Like, <laughs> I mean, okay, I mean, like, I understand you threw your cat, but I mean, you now, probably were in we the say, middle of something. So so when we say throw the cat, we don't mean she picked it up and chucked it against no, the wall she, like, you should, like, like a like, football. Okay, so you know how sometimes you're doing something and something, and like if you have a cat, yeah. you know, they jump in your lap. And you're like, no, move out the way. Yeah. She was just, I'm sure, so, she was just in the instance of a game and just went, oh, no. And I'm sure she, I'm pretty sure she was going for the laughs, too. It yeah. was funny. It, meant, it was meant oh, to yeah, be I'm funny. Sure. The actual act isn't I'm funny. Sh- the, I mean, I'm sure the cat's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so it's very much like, she, just picture yourself sitting down, you grabbing something and catapulting it behind you. It doesn't look very crazy. She yeah. just kind of pops it over. And, and, of course, it's a cat, so it lands on all fours. I mean, Similar to Catwoman. <laughs> oh, my God. R- read the next part. Read the next part. The incident yeah. blew up on social media Friday where it was eventually picked up by people for... Th- oh, my God. <laughs> by people for the ethical treatment of animals. I didn't know they were involved in this, which shared Just a clip of it on Twitter to its over 1 million followers. Quote, take a stand for cats and please remove validity from at Twitch immediately. And Peter quote, wrote. Peter wrote. Okay, guys. You- <laughs> You guys need to chill. I it's not like she it. took the video. It's not like she took a video of her beating the cat. Whoa. Quote, I mean, she is using the platform to post animal abuse, which sends a dangerous message to anyone watching her videos. Cats are not props to abuse for more views. Okay, this this is Whoa. this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, goodness. That's funny. I mean, I've sometimes Again, this, knocked my dog <laughs> off my lap, but like I'm not abusing them. Of course, well, okay, so your instance of putting the dog down, of course, fine. Yeah. 
I think they're just <laughs> taking her instance and making sure people don't do it because she does kind of catapult behind her. But again, it's not in my opinion, it's not that bad. They, um, but it was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, Peter. Is there, I, I'm looking at the tweet right now. This is crazy. I didn't, I didn't know Peter. I mean, Peter hates anything involving animals, so I, I guess I. Get I'm gonna it. watch the video real quick. Why is he reading? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh my up. god! <laughs> I'm assuming you saw it. Oh, uh, it's it's a it's a okay. It's okay. It's not that bad. It's just like it looks like. I mean, yes, she chucked it. She like like you can tell she lifted it over her head and moved it behind her, but you can't even see behind her. So who who knows? There was somebody right there, and she just lifted it I up t- and put her in there. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure she oh, just no, threw sure. it behind her and it hit the floor. Oh, and, I'm and sure. The cat's fine. And yeah, and, and, I mean the cats ha- oh have gone what? How many stories and landed on their oh. feet? It's not like she's throwing it and causing. Oh, this is ridiculous. I don't. I didn't think this would be the most heated debate we'd have on this podcast, but here we are. <laughs> I just think it's it's hilarious. Big how. So I, I don't. So I will. I will defend the throwing behind her back. Whatever. Who cares? It, it's let's not overreact, Peter. I yeah. do not agree with it. You should no, have done it. No, of course it. not. But Peter overreacted a little bit. I do not agree with though what what comes up right after that. Um, there's a, a clip where she drinks vodka from a bottle and then had her cat lick it from her mouth okay that no so that's kind of even though i mean first off you're gross because you let the cat lick your mouth i'm not about the whole yeah right that's a little they weird. lick their butts all right i'm not trying to get butt licks all right yeah we don't need all that we don't need butt licks <laughs> see, see okay see that one uh i don't agree with but this one was i watched that I'm clip sure. too by the way the cat licks him and it goes <laughs> you know how cats go yeah. <laughs> Like, okay, that one, yeah. I, I mean, just this part, I just, uh, it's ridiculous. Whoa. What? I, I scrolled to the bottom of the article. Yeah? I'm just going to read this. I don't know if this Go is ahead. out of context, but Go who ahead. cares? Last year, Felix, uh, uh, Felix PewDiePie, uh, I've, I've heard of it. I, uh, I think it's Jel- uh, Kiel- Kielberg? Jelberg. I forget. Jelberg, I think. Yeah, okay, uh, called, called the women in a video he was watching in which Mulligan appeared stupid. Whoa, okay, hold on. Quote, stupid Twitch thoughts, end quote. Oh, wow. I didn't know he said that. Yeah, wow. Jesus. Yeah, this, this led, led to-, to an extended back and forth between them in which uh, Jailberg at one point argued that it was Mulligan's own fault if people called her names for judging the way she did. Jesus. Well, well Kielberg said in a follow-up video that he did not condone any type of harassment. The comments under it were filled with people attacking her for how she dressed. Ooh, well, I thought that was going to be funnier. I did not think that was a very serious it's, thing that happened. Jesus, just, why just, is this man talking about? Yeah, I'm very confused, man. You're rich. Why are you bothering this random lady okay, on Twitch? That's my thing. <laughs> these peop- these YouTubers, <laughs> they get all this type of money and all yeah. this fame. Um, like All they got to do is just have fun and play video games. Right. Why are you causing drama? <laughs> why are you also, make, like, why are you gotta make fun of people? Why quote, you gotta call people stupid stuff? Twitch thoughts? End quote. What does that even mean? To- a thought? That means that hoe over there. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know that. I've, I'm in the I'm in the hoods, bro. I, I know what's I up. Got, yeah, I got you. Peace. <laughs> uh, it's, wow. Okay, I'm, we're just gonna leave that. That's pretty messed up. I, I you know, I. I oof, let's uh, let's say this. Let's say this correctly. I still had. Passing respect for Pew Pie, let's say that. I, of course, lost respect over the years. Mm-hmm. I still had some sort of respect for the man. Now it's like, come on, man. Let's continue. Nah, yeah, let's continue. Let's get out of this. Anyways, yeah. screw him. Um, so, this- so we're about to talk about something very serious. I want to get very serious for a second. We, yeah. we, we stopped on very, something very serious. Mm-hmm. We're going to end very seriously. It's very important. We're going to settle it once and for all. Once and for all. Doritos, nacho cheese, or Cool Ranch. Alex, what do you th- when I say Doritos, Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch split? What's what's first thing? It, it, dude, it's hard, right? I'm gonna have to go with Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch, yeah. really? Cool Ranch. It's it's Woo! it's hard. It, it is very it's hard. very hard. But both have things the others missing. I say yep. I love the ch- the Nacho Cheese yep. Dorito. Yep. Because it's it, you taste Nacho Cheese. Yep. You, you taste it. Mm. Cool Ranch. Not every chip's tasting like Cool Ranch. Sometimes nope. it just tastes so like it's, a chip. It's, it's not overwhelming. But sometimes you get the one a little over seasoned. Tastes uh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, tastes amazing though. I like the over. I like when there's see, a little too much yeah, on there. But see, sometimes which which one do you catch yourself just licking all the seasoning off the chip? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Which because uh, I've caught myself the amount of times <laughs> of me doing that. I don't, Alex. So I've never done that. <laughs> I mean, probably as a child, yes. I'll, I mean, <laughs> I've caught myself doing it just like randomly, like just, last week. <laughs> I, I, I know it was like maybe a month ago. I just like caught myself licking all the seasoning <laughs> off, and I'll eat the chip, of course. I'll just throw it out. I'm not a savage. I can't tell which is worse, throwing it out or eating that. Oh now no! Wet oh no! Chip. Oh no, thro- no! Throwing it out because you're worse. just you're just wasting the chip that's a good point There's just eat the chip you hungry, already licked it hungry people out there and you're, you're yeah just right throwing away good chips so i don't know but it's hard so now the thing is which one's better with dip oh mm. see i Dude. would say nacho okay cheese. see yeah because see you can have nacho cheese with with the ranch dip but you can't. You can. Yeah. 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 But you, can you have the Cool Ranch one with, with like salsa, salsa, or, or or nacho cheese? Yeah. I've like, never tried Cool Ranch with nacho cheese. We I, have to like I videotape guess, us. Doing I guess this. we're gonna have to try it. Of course. Yeah. yeah. We have to videotape us and be like, we're gonna settle once for all, and we're gonna dip dip yeah. one in the other, dip yep. in the other. We're gonna figure this out. Now, one thing that's fun about the nacho cheese, and it's super gross, but mm-hmm. it's it. I always liked it. Oh God! When I'm salivating right now, if you don't know, <laughs> dude, I want some more. I want some Doritos right now. So when you get a nacho cheese Dorito and you dip it inside of like sour cream ranch or something like that, okay, and it leaves that red film, mm-hmm. like it, like there's something like satisfying about that, yeah, and nostalgic for me. As a kid, I would do that all the time. Nacho cheese Cool Ranch dip, perfect, like red filling coming out. Take a bite, get another ranch. You scoop that scoop seasoning that out. Yep. Eat that. Woo! delicious um which do i pick nacho cheese and out of these two i think i have to go nacho cheese and see, i think my, i have my to. wife is nacho all the so way so my girlfriend's cool ranch i think and this is just such a hard decision dude it, it's hard it's you hard. know what you know what i do what i get a bag of both uh-huh mix it all up no you don't and i just and i'll blankly just grab they- one at a time just mix we have it. content working here, Alex. Just, I love it. Just, I love it. Just mix Social it. media at EVM Nine Thousand at Crazy Food Skater at Easy Achievers on everything. You can't make up your mind. Have both, <laughs> <laughs> and don't even look what you pick. You just eat it all. You just eat it all. Yep. Now, Alex, is this your favorite? Uh, these two are these your favorite nachos? You are very much a consumer of any nacho over, of of any nacho varieties. What what are you thinking? You you see you, you like the about, buffalo wings, right? I love those. You talking about the Dorito? Do you, are you going by a Dorito brand or just nacho cheese or Dorito brand? Oh, okay, uh, now no, we can get into okay. other brands. There's and chips, other yeah. Though, but, well, well, because Dorito brand, right? I really love that. There's this green bag. I think it's jalapeno. Mm, I think so. Jalapeno oh, ranch. I think yeah. it was. That sounds familiar. I think. Okay. Or, oh no. I think there's a blue one that's buffalo ranch, and then there's a green mm. one that's like. That jalapeno something. Those two, my God. Are you looking it up? Yes, I am. Yes, okay. I am. I have to know. I have to. Yeah, because I mean, if is anybody salsa verde. No, no, it's not no. That? There's another one. Just okay. type in Doritos jalapeno and just see what pops okay, up. Okay, Doritos. Jalapeno. It's like a light green bag, but like if anybody's sweet, ever, uh, spicy sweet chili, that's a good oh, one from good back one. in the day. I used to eat those. But if anybody's ever tried it, wait, those things are pretty good. Damn, you hit the mic. Sorry, pop. Pop, poppin' jalapeno? Yes. Okay. Poppin' jalapeno. That was the first one. I like it, see And it. it's not even that. It's not even crazy hot or anything. It's just like a, a little tingly to where it's like, you're like, mm, this is good. Which is funny because it's literally on fire on the picture. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that or, I mean, like I said, the other one, it was uh, bla- uh, Buffalo Ranch or Blazing Ranch, something like that. And that one's... I like, like the Buffalo Ranch. You cannot have too much because it literally burns your fucking mouth. <laughs> Honest? It's not that bad. So no, no I can so eat. I'm saying the seasoning on it oh, is so God, strong yeah, yeah. that it, I'm over here like see <laughs> and see that one. I don't lick all the stuff off the chip. You couldn't. No, you, you, you'd like it evaporate into like. Crying. Oh God, yeah. I be um, but yeah, no, it's the um, the one. I'm, it's called the the jacked one, the ranch dipped hot wings mm-hmm, one. Jacked mm-hmm, that one. Mm-hmm. I like those. Those yeah. are good. Oh, I see it right here. Yep, jacked ranch dipped hot wings. So good. Shout out to ranch dipped hot wings, like yep. period, just yep. hot wings in general, and then putting that on a chip. Are you kidding me? Now, uh, with the, I want to get into, I want to get into Pringles. Now, this is gonna be, this is gonna Ooh, be, Pringles. this is gonna go into another episode by itself, of course, because, okay, we're a gaming podcast. Can't can't not talk about chips. We have to have chips, right? Of course, it, it, they mar- uh, they marry so well together. Man, so I'm not, with, I'm not gonna lie, really quick, very first time I played Arkham Knight. I beat Ooh, it. In, I beat it. I, I, I beat it in one night, in my living room, eating a big bag of those uh, Tostitos 
uh, lime chips. A oh. whole family big bag. The lime chips. Yeah, those are delicious. Those are like one of my favorite chips. Those are delicious. And I can just eat them. On, I ate them all night playing Arkham Knight. You get Knight. some dip? Huh? No dip? No dip. No dip. Surprisingly, no dip. But I need. I think one I should get some. One downside of the tortilla chips mm-hmm. cuts my mouth. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Does it cut your mouth? Am I just an I idiot mean, when I'm I, eating? I, it, I mean, I can feel it. I think it's just like you know the how sharp it is, and then the, you know the the seasoning. One hundred percent. And it burns a little bit. But did you try the blue cheese ones? The hot Doritos blue cheese? No, I've never been a fan of blue I cheese. Feel, really? I don't know. Maybe I just. I, I don't know if, how I. So I I, I didn't as a kid. I want you to try blue cheese now, just see if it's okay. evolved to your palate or something. Okay. Um, because I, I I didn't like it as a kid, and now I do like it with like wings and stuff. Okay. Do you do you mess with the mix bags? You know, like you they have munchies. You ever tried munchies? Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. It's just munchies in yeah, general. Yeah, it's I funny. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. d- have you tried those? Like, do you do you mess with those? You don't, the munchies bag is the one so that has like, like has like Cheetos, pretzels, and yeah, stuff like that. Pretzels. So it's, it's sort of like, like a Chex mix, but like Dorito brand, basically, isn't it? Okay. Basically, yes. Yeah, I, I had them before, and I really like them. I can't tell if it's different from Doritos or if it's like someone else because I'm seeing Doritos mixed bags. Let me see. And I'm not a fan of what's inside of it. I'm not going to lie to you. Because there's basically just different ways of the chip. So there's one in a triangle for whatever reason. Okay. There's one that's rolled up that's similar to a cigarette or blunt situation. And then there's kind of a, a, a DNA helix Jesus. kind of Doritos. Right. I'm not a fan of I, plain Dorito. Give me a plain Dorito, nacho cheese. I'll have a side of Buffalo Jacked Ranch, of yeah. course. Um, what were the other? I so see there's right one here. right so here. So the spicy chipotle barbecue and enchilada supreme. Jesus, interesting. So the one cheese that I old. that I have found right now it's the flaming hot pack. It's the it's Doritos, Cheetos. I think I'm assuming both of these are uh, hot ones. The flaming hot Doritos, flaming hot Cheetos, Sun Chips. And pretzels, <laughs> you got a you got a good Friday night there, my friend. And it's by Frito Lay, so it's that Friday man. night. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. that sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Did you try the um, taco Doritos at Taco Bell? Yes. What'd you think? You talking about the the so like you know the, the hard local, shell you is about the chip? Yeah, you talking about the lo, I think it's called Locos Tacos. Yeah, oh, Locos, sorry, yeah, Locos Tacos is the name. Yes. I think that's what it's called. Yes, I, unless I'm thinking, okay. it's a local tacos. Okay, yeah. yeah, no, I love those. I, fine. I, I yeah, yeah, they're fine. Yeah, I like the nacho um, cheese is the one that really sings, of course. No, yeah, yeah. And then there's another one that it's that was the, like spicy. It's, it's the uh, fiery one. Yeah, oh, that's right, fiery. Yeah, that's what it's, it's pretty good. I like yeah, that. It was one. good. It was good. Um, have you ever have you ever had takis? Yes, they're good. They're good. But, okay, first, I used to eat the hell out of the purple bag. I'll tell you, man, my butt I can't do it no more. Fire. I can't do it no more. It I get the, I just do the, the regular orange one now because I can't do that purple one no more, man. I hate when you have the spices and then the butt is just on a, a flame. It's just a flame. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's awful. I hate it. I mean, yeah, that's how it happens. Doritos has dynam, uh, was Oh, the dynamite, the dynamite one? No, yeah, I think it's yeah, it. yeah, dynamite. It's like, the, it's like dynamite. Have it's you ever the same had thing, those? but no. It's like, I don't think like I it's like Takis, but the, the Doritos version. It, they're they're pretty good. I remember my I think I think she's I, th- I think my s- what step grandma I guess technically um would uh, got me like f- like absurdly hot Takis, straight yep. up to where you yep. would eat one and be like, yep. I need to take a second yep. and think about my life. Yep. Um, I went over to my father's uh the other day. They had. Ghost pepper, nope. Cheetos or something. I not Cheetos. I'm sorry. Just some sort of chip ghost yeah, yeah. pepper thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Took a single bite. Whew. Thought it hit immediately. <laughs> that thing was hot. Yeah. Took a bite. And I'm like, oh. I'm, like <laughs> I'm like trying to concentrate on not dying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're like, where's 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 you know where's my drink? Yeah, it was it was good. Where's the milk? It it was good. Like it was weird. It was good, but it was just really hot. Yo, no, yeah, I've had those to where I'm like, I have a. Like whatever drink that helps hot stuff ready, and then I dr- and I eat, like right now in the in the on the table, I have flaming hot Cheetos that have li- a limon on them. I love. Open these. that bag up. Let's take a bit. Let's say let, let, we're gonna do a t- <laughs> we're gonna do a taste test, guys. Right taste now. Taste test. <laughs> and see, I love these, man. I haven't had them in forever, and I had to. These are my. These are probably my favorite flaming hot. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's see, snack. And you see, I, mean? I like these. But I also really like the Cheetos that they did, the flaming hot ones, the the baked ones. The baked. They did baked flaming hot. 
Yeah. So you you know okay. So you know the 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 like. I don't know if they whatever they call it like cheese fries or whatever like the little. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. they made flaming hot ones of those. Really? Yeah. You talking about hot fries, right? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, hot yeah. fries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good. Those are really good. Crunch. Good crunch. Yeah. Like, there's something about the Tito crunch that's just perfect. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's worth it. And then with the Doritos, they have that kind of crumbly aspect. Mm-hmm. I, feel, I feel like that's anything with any chip, really. Yeah. See, Chester fries. You see like, these things? Yeah, oh yeah, these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are amazing. Oh god, yeah. I feel like I run through them much faster, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, because honestly, I think they're a little like easier, to, easier to eat, yeah, right? Because yep. you pick up like eight of them your hand and eat it all. Yep. You, eat, like, you get like a handful, <laughs> and you're like shoving down your face. <laughs> and all you hear is... <laughs> and then you're like... Because <laughs> it's a little hot at first. Yep. Do you, do you eat any Chex Mix? Yes. You do? Yeah. You know what I haven't had in a while? And I used to eat a lot. With you, um, Cheez Its. We used to eat the hell out of Cheez Its. Yeah, Cheez Its are good. I feel like I, Cheez I don't think I could do it anymore, though. I, 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 think I, over, like, I think I overdid myself with Cheez Its. So I think Cheez Its are beaten by mm. any other chip, right? Mm. I, I won't, I'm not going to say Cheez Its has no place at the table. It always does. Yeah. If I have to pick, because I usually get a chip for the week, two weeks. You yeah. know, don't, I don't want to overdo it, of course. So I get the one chip. If I'm picking between flaming hot, all these Doritos, I'm yeah. not gonna go cheese it route. I'm gonna no, go no, some no, sort no. of maybe heat and Cheeto. I, I uh, mm. sorry, cheese it. Um, did you try the cheese it? What is it called? Buffalo wing. No, but I saw it and I wanted it's, to try it. It's it's good. Mm. Literally, it tastes just like a buffalo sauce. Okay, so it's not bad. If you're looking for a, a buffalo sauce, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> now let's segue into popcorn. Do you like popcorn? Yeah, yeah. It has to be good popcorn because you you can you can have excuse oh, my French God. some shitty popcorn. Of co- <laughs> yes, yes you can. Now the difference between good popcorn and bad popcorn, mm. I feel like literally time. Fresh popcorn, yeah, amazing. Popcorn mm. sitting at the theater, five ten minutes. <clears throat> No, thank you. Okay, and see, sometimes no, thank I've had you. some good popcorn from the movie theater. Of course, I'll yes. get some at home, and I'll uh, I'll leave, come back. Ugh, awful, right? Yeah, awful. Stay tuned to my Instagram. I'm gonna try something tonight. Okay, I'm making popcorn. We're having like a little movie night. You know, yeah, okay. you know, date night and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm going to make buffalo ranch popcorn. Hmm. Going to also make chocolate popcorn for uh, my girlfriend. Yeah, Rebecca. I'm also gonna make. What was the other one? So are you gonna bring that over or what? Um, I got a thing. Oh, you, you got know. a thing. <laughs> yeah, I got, got a thing, you man. Got a thing. All right, I see how it is. A meeting. YouTube. You see what he does to me? <laughs> he doesn't share. <laughs> doesn't share the chocolate and the popcorn. <laughs> Oh, I think are there any a, blaring things we're getting in snack areas? I don't want to upset the viewer. Where I don't know, like, but oh, I'm get, why I'm, aren't you talking about? I don't know, but X. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hungry, and we're gonna. You're starving. Get, yes, and we all we got another podcast over this. Man. I know. That's why I want to <laughs> eat. <sighs> I feel like we're forgetting something, and, and a viewer gonna tweet me. Uh, I'm gonna well, have to apologize. If they it's gonna uh, be a whole thing, if I'm we forgot, have to make. If you, we forgot something, they're just gonna have to tweet at us and let us know. Post, yes, please post comment. I guess yeah. Tweet at us anything, yep. anything you like. Just give us a shout out on what is your favorite chip or snack. It doesn't have to be unhealthy, of no. course. If you if you like seaweed mm. chips, I mean it, whatever. I mean it's whatever. I, I mean, used to eat seaweed. One of my favorite snacks, them zebra cakes, man. Whoa, we're doing the sugar territory. That's a whole other podcast, That's a whole lady other and gentlemen. Topic, man. That is going to be it for us this week. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked that, please, patreon.com slash easyachievers. Give us a dollar. You will get everything that we have exclusive. It's going to be last everything. month's. It is going to be this month's. Only for a dollar. Now, I'd say... You can also get Game Pass Ultimate for a dollar, but do you want to waste that dollar on them? No, you want to <laughs> give it to us. Upstarts is what I like to call us. <laughs> That's a good one. Please, Instagram.com, Easy Achievers. Twitter, Easy Achievers. Facebook, I'm going to try and make it look presentable because yeah. right now, nothing on it. I'm yep. Same <laughs> with our YouTube, Facebook but I'm page. working on it. Yes, YouTube will be up it. soon. Um, 
uh, of course, Google Play, uh, Spotify, any of your favorite podcast servers. Give us a five star. Yep. Give us a like. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Yeah, we send us one, money. Let us let us know <laughs> if you have any um, gripes. Uh, anything you want to tell us? Again. Anything we've got wrong and you can just, you know, show it show it off in our face, uh, let us know. <laughs> Twitter.com slash uh, EVM9000, Easy Achievers, Crazy Flip Skater, uh, respectively. Um, give us a shout out if you want to, uh, us to talk about something. Yeah. Ask yeah. us, hey, talk. <laughs> Not going to lie, sometimes we forget what we need to talk about <laughs> and we're like, God, we need a topic. Uh, Why do you think this Dorito thing went so long? <laughs> Hey, it was good content. Okay? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. That is going to be us for this week. See you over on Patreon.com. Have a good one.